So you've installed Typhon Wallet, but what you really want to do is clone an existing software wallet that you have somewhere like either Daedalus, Eternal, or Nami. Let's take a look at how together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today, let's take a look at how we can take one of our existing software wallets and make a clone of that wallet in Typhon. Let's jump in. So keep in mind for this video, what we're trying to do is take an existing wallet, for example, this Woodland Pools Yoroi port that we have in our eternal wallet, and we want to import it into Typhon. If you're trying to make a brand new wallet from scratch, check out our video where we show you how to make a new software wallet. And if what you're trying to do is pair it with your hardware wallet, check out our video on that. But assuming that what you want to do is make a clone of an existing wallet into Typhon, then you're in the right place. So go ahead and click on the Typhon wallet extension, open up the app, and then from there, we're gonna click on import wallet. Now we need to give this wallet a name. You can name it anything you want, and it does not need to match the wallet name that you used in the app that you're trying to clone in from. So call it anything you want. For us, we're cloning this Eternal software wallet, and actually this wallet in Eternal was originally cloned over from Uroi. So let's go ahead and call it Woodland Pools Uroi ported again. Now we need to enter our spending password. This is going to be the password that we're going to use to unlock this wallet and also to authorize transactions whenever we're trying to send funds, delegate to a stake pool or anything like that. Similar to the wallet name, this is specific to Typhon and this spending password does not need to match the password you had on the previous app that you're coming from. So go ahead and enter a strong spending password. We'll do the same and then we'll go from there. Okay, agree to the terms and conditions and continue. Now, Typhon supports 12, 15, and 24 word software wallets for their import. So go ahead and select whichever one of these corresponds to the length of the recovery phrase that you're trying to clone in. And once you've done that, fill in your 12, 15, or 24 words and click on unlock wallet. We'll do the same and then we'll go from there. Great, so now that you've entered your recovery phrase, now you need to select what kind of a wallet type you want to use. You can either use a single address wallet or what they call an HD wallet, which basically every time you make a new transaction, it generates new addresses for you. For 99% of the people, the way that you're gonna wanna go is with a single address wallet. And now even if the wallet you're bringing in wasn't single address mode before, you can still convert your wallet to single address mode by going to settings and convert, and we'll show how to do that. So we highly recommend you go with single address wallet. That's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and do that and continue. Okay, great. So now that our wallet has been restored, we can see that even though the wallet that we were cloning had a balance of 218 ADA, we only see about 27 ADA being reflected here, and here's our warning. HD wallet detected. Please convert your wallet to single address wallet to utilize the full balance. This is so cool. I've been looking for something as straightforward as this for a really long time. There's been so much confusion about the multiple addresses and wallets that only support one address versus multiple or whatever. This is such a nice little helper to make sure that people don't get confused. So let's go ahead and go to settings. So here we're gonna convert an HD account to a single address account. And here's what's actually going on behind the scenes, right? If we come to our software wallet, go to receive and grab one of these unused addresses, if we bring that into Cardano scan and we paste it in, we can come here and click on view all addresses. And we can see that the multiple addresses that correspond to this wallet, here's one address with 27 ADA in it. And here's another one with like 189 ADA. And these are empty right now. But so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Typhon Wallet consolidate all of these into this first single address. So let's go ahead and click on convert. Awesome, so what it's doing now is it's grabbing all of the assets and all of the funds that are in this wallet across all the disparate addresses, and it's gonna move them all to this single one address. So let's go ahead and click on confirm, enter our spending password, transaction submitted, awesome. Now if we come to home, we see the internal transfer is pending, so let's give this a minute. We got this pop-up that the transaction was successful, and we now see our wallet balance of 216.938 ADA. If we come back to Eternal and refresh this, we can see here the wallet that we cloned has the balance of 216.93 ADA with some rewards of 0.98, and here are rewards of 0.98. Awesome, so we've now been able to successfully clone over our previous wallet that was originally in Yoroi, then was cloned into Eternal. Now we've cloned it into Typhon, and we've consolidated all of our assets into one address, which is gonna make accounting moving forward so much easier when it comes to things like tax time, and it makes the app perform faster. And one last thing that we probably should have done at the beginning of this video, I'm a big fan of dark mode. There we go, that's so much better. So now that your wallet is fully set up, from here, you can either check out how you can delegate to multiple stake pools using Typhon, how you can register for Project Catalyst, or if you really wanna level up, let's take a look at the five power features that really make the Typhon wallet shine. Let us know your favorite parts about the Typhon wallet so far, and if nothing else, we'll see you in the next video.